Today, citizens' property insurance approved a double-digit rate hike come November. This comes as private insurance companies are leaving the state and dropping customers. Eight on your side's Nicole Rogers joins us live in St. Pete. And Nicole, just seems like rates keep going up. How did we get to this point? Keith, Stacy, good evening. Since 2013, Florida has played out $15 billion in these insurance claims. How much of that actually went to the homeowners for their losses? Only 8%. Now the state is working hard to curb what some are calling a legislative abuse. And it's leaving homeowners right here in St. Petersburg devastated. We were both raised with grandparents who had the same house for as long as we could remember. Oh, so this was going to be our grandkids' house that they would always remember. Joe Fabrizio and his wife bought this waterfront home in St. Petersburg just under five years ago, never thinking it would be short-lived thanks to rising homeowners and flood insurance. Now we're looking, can we cling on to it a couple more years and then probably have to be somewhere else. Like thousands of other Floridians, Fabrizio's insurance company left the state, dropping him as a customer. What will this mean for the average property owner here in Tampa Bay? Their premiums will go up, I guess is the bottom line for, for your viewers. Spokesperson for Citizens Property Insurance Michael Peltier says homeowners here in the Bay Area may see increases anywhere from 12 to 15 percent come November. You know, we understand no one likes to see their rates go up, but we have a responsibility to be financially sound. We have a responsibility to all Floridians to be able to, to take care of our policyholders uh, without having to levy assessments on other Florida insurance consumers. And that's what these rates are intended to um, uh, get us walking in that right direction. But for the Fabrizio family, this could bring a lifetime's worth of hard work to a halt. Now, those new rate increases would go into effect this November. Stacy. So, Nicole, I guess if there's any light or hope at the end of the tunnel, it's not actually a done deal yet. It's not. This now goes before the Office of Insurance Regulation, and they'll have a public hearing, and then they will decide if this is the right move. All right, Nicole Rogers, live in St. Pete. Thank you. And if you'd like to check out the county-by-county county breakdown of those citizens' rate hikes, we have them for you on the homepage at WFLA.com and our free app.